in lesson uh, 31, you learned about independent, independent variables. And independent variables are really the ones where you do nothing with, no math to find them, you just list them out. And the dependent variables are the ones where you have to do some math to calculate. So I'm going to show you an example. Sarah is purchasing pencils to share. Each package has 12 pencils. The equation n equals 12p, where n is the number of pencils and p is the number of packages, can be used to determine the total number of pencils Sarah purchased. Determine which variable is dependent and which is independent. So then make a table showing the number of pencils purchased. So I'm going to, before I do my final copy, I'm going to do some work over here, okay? Each package has 12 pencils, okay? So I can just list the packages, packages 1, 2, 3, 4. I have to do some math to calculate the pencils. So the packages is your independent variable and pencils is your dependent. The total amount of pencils you have is dependent on the number of packages that you have. So I'm going to say that this, is, this column is going to be for packages, which is the variable P. And this one will be your number of pencils. which is n. And they want to know a table for three to seven packages. Three, six, seven. Oh my god, this is creamer. I'm, I hope you're watching this video and you come in and watch me tomorrow and laugh at me. Can I count by ones? Three, four, five, six, seven packages. Okay, and now you can take your independent variable here and multiply every single package by 12. Three times 12 is 36. 4 times 12 is 48, 5 times 12 is 60, 6 times 12 is 72, and 7 times 12 is 84. Okay? I'm going to read you a couple problems, and then I'm going to stop the video for the educanon. So let me read a couple. Charlotte reads four books each week. Let B be the number of books she reads each week, and let W be the number of weeks that she reads. Determine which variable is dependent and which is independent. Then, write an equation to model the situation and make a graph that shows the number of books read in under six weeks. There will be a series of Educanon questions based on this if you're watching um, this video.